A group of residents in Chattanooga says they're taking action to stop the city council from granting benefits to city employees in so-called domestic partnerships. The city council voted five to four on the first reading last night, but they'll vote again next week on the final reading. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is here now with more. Jerry? Yeah, Kim and Kevin, a group of Chattanooga residents say they're upset over last night's city council decision. They're hoping to file a request through the Election Commission to overturn the controversial domestic partners ordinance. Hamilton County Election Commission attorney Chris Clem told us today that residents can file a petition to repeal any ordinance that's approved by the city council within 14 days of its passing. And that's exactly what Mark West and a group of residents plan to do if city council members vote next week to allow health benefits for domestic partners. Partners. We believe the people should have a, a right to, to weigh on this, and of course our charter gives us that opportunity to do that. Attorney Clem says as long as there are enough signatures, the election commission can put the referendum on the ballot for the people to vote in the next county general election. City Attorney Wade Henson says if the ordinance passes, it'll cost the city $160,000 per year. Many taxpayers we found today say it's a waste of taxpayer money. I would much rather see that money go elsewhere. I could definitely think of a few other things that would probably be more useful for that money other than that. Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke says he sides with the five city council members who voted in favor of last night's decision. And we also found many residents today who agree. Certainly Chattanooga has come a long way in the last uh, 25, 30, 50 years. And uh, I think yesterday was certainly a... Uh, 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 the next step in progression in, uh, in our city. Now, Tuesday was the first reading of the ordinance, but it must first pass on the second reading to be official. Again, that vote is scheduled for next Tuesday. Of course, we'll let you all know what happens. Stay with us. Kim. Jerry, thank you.